All right, Pitts, play the song. Hello and welcome to the USC Outsider Podcast. I'm Rick Barbera. This is Scott Pitts. Howdy. And we're your source for all cool things USC football related. We're not officially affiliated with the University of Southern California, and all opinions expressed are uniquely ours. So... If you have small children, send them out of the room. And if you happen to be at work right now, put on headphones because we tend to swear sometimes. Yep. Just a fair warning. Shit, yeah. Here at the USC Outsider Podcast, we don't overthink it. Much like what, we can't get a better copy of the song to play. Like that's I told you, it's from your a phone. phone. Yeah. This, that song is from a phone. Uh, I don't have a, like a push button. With all thing. the technology that we've got these days now, you can, we were playing the. You can move it around to make it sound different. Oh yeah, I think Phil Spector did that when he was recording in the, was the in the w- '60s. The wall of sound. So, yeah, the wall of I'm going to bring a gun in the studio and shoot you. <laughs> so here we are, week two. Had a great week one. We actually won the game, Big. handedly over yeah. Arkansas State, the the Red Wolves. And it was great to see USC back in action. A lot of positive things happened. Tons of freshmen got in the mix. We are, I would say, at full strength after so many years of just being miserable. We are finally back, seemingly at full strength. Uh, the Just give me your, your best, because Pitts and I actually watched the, the game we last did. Saturday. Together. First uh, time in a long time. This will go into something later, because I want to stay on, on topic this week. But uh, I found out, I, I was streaming... I logged in online through my folks cable provider in Vegas so I could get the <laughs> Pac-12 the network. Yeah, don't give away the secret. Oh, it's, I mean, you, can, it you can log in anywhere. Well, the, the problem is why, why DirecTV would, would say you can have this game and watch it in Los Angeles and then say, okay, no. And, and the, the larger thing there is then why, why did they do that with the Dodgers and, and, and uh, Time Warner? Like, why did they say, these are your teams... This is a major market. Some asshole, obviously the same asshole that works at DirecTV works, or used to probably work I, at Time Warner. We're going to get as much money as we can and and try to charge as much money as we possibly can for this for this this for these teams in these markets. I think you have uh, some misplaced anger, Rick. I think it should be put squarely on the shoulders of Larry Scott, the commissioner of the Pac-12. But he has nothing to do with the Dodgers and in, in Time Warner. No, but uh, it's, it's a lot of Oh, I'd love to lines. put a lot of things on Larry Scott and the <laughs> cartel and the... Different Larry Scott. <laughs> this Larry Scott used to, I think, coach women's tennis at DeVry. Yes, that's that's true. That's a that's a fact. We look we can that look up. that up. Somebody somebody Google it. Somebody Google that. At any rate, I don't understand why everyone's so mad at Los Angeles. We, <laughs> the teams might be doing okay, like the Dodgers. Yeah. Okay, they, they they're probably going to go to the postseason this year. Yeah, they're definitely uh, going to the definitely postseason going to the postseason this year. this year. Pardon me. Uh, USC and UCLA. <sighs> And the Pac-12 network and everything. Why make a group of people suffer in that market? It just why bleed so much out of the people that they should just they should have a right to see their teams. I agree. I don't get I don't get the thought. D- don't piss the people off. Otherwise, you're just gonna have a bunch of cord cutters, and they can just you know do the worst and just select exactly what they want to see in these skinny plans. <laughs> and that dude from Apple said that apps are gonna be like the, the future of television. That's gonna. Man, see, I got off on a tangent. There we go. At any rate. And we're off. Favorite player of, of last Saturday's game, uh, in your opinion, that, that we saw, like, just in pretty much good marks all around from, from me and Scott? For me, it was Juju. He was incredible. Um, Adori was off to a good start. Came up lame a little bit. Uh, you like Trey Madden a lot. He broke off a big one. Welcome back. Yeah, he looked real good. Um, my favorite freshman of the night... Ronald Jones is the third or second. That he yes. was great. He was he's, exciting. He is. He's he's going to be fun to watch in the next yeah. few years. Yeah, they can uh, they can give him the ball as much as they want to. He proved that he knew exactly what to do with it. Uh, was not intimidated. These I, I'm just blown away by the the freshmen playing like they're retro freshmen or sophomores or yeah. juniors. Like they they're, stepped right into the program and and away and, they uh, went and did it. So the uh, my uh, I I will say this because of last season how often I didn't have anything good to say uh <laughs> Justin Wilcox did a great job as he defensive did. coordinator the defense that looked, defense looked scary they looked stout they I were know, fast yeah they were they were just around the ball constantly and and hitting people hard fresh legs all the time yeah uh they they and they looked like they knew what they were doing and they were prepared and 
it it was one of those more aggressive like there was there was blitzing uh, there was a fumble recovery it wasn't it wasn't so it was much different <laughs> guys looked like they were prepared and knew what they were doing and had the time to adjust so I'm not I can't really uh, go to the bathroom all over the fact that we we're playing a couple teams that may or may not be up to like Alabama's caliber for sure. the first two weeks sure get get them warmed up get them into this platooning system that that Sarkeesian and his band of merry men implemented last week <laughs> because everybody's healthy and get get guys rested getting their reps and uh, executing correctly the machine and that was made that that yeah. makes for good uh, good football absolutely so congrats um, it was a lot of fun um, uh, 22 Trojans debuted when when has that happened before? Except after World War II. Uh, that was a uh, nineteen sixty nine. Yeah, you, you're making that look up. that up. No, look that you're up. You're making that up. Twenty two freshmen in sixty sixty nine. That would not have happened. Pitts gets a pass tonight because it is actually his birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it is. Happy I'll, I'll take the pass because I need it. Two, okay. Uh, Happy birthday, Scott Pitts. And thank he's you. here doing a show. For all seven of you, where else watching. would I be? This is where I want to be. Uh, okay, I'm finally. I wasn't the stats convinced here. by that statement. Really? This is actually where where I want to be. We with you and with David. And Trey Alex Madden and came right back. He didn't from miss a beat. Did he? A year off, a year and a half off. It gets gets over over a hunsky. Over oh, <laughs> most cards. of that on uh, he ripped off what was that like a 65 yarder yeah, on I think one? Right at, yeah, toward the beginning. Yeah, he was uh slow and steady at, at, at the beginning and uh didn't go for any negative yards, maybe one or two, but uh head down and and was plugging ahead and and ripped off a good one and six got yards a, on 12 yep. carries, Scott Pitts. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. No flies on that. 65 yard touchdown run. That's right. Oh, are you kidding? He got a touchdown. He caught a touchdown as well. Um, so that's nice to see. Uh, Rick, one area of concern uh, for a lot of people, I, I feel, um, a lot of people were a little upset about the first half giving up the offensive line, giving up five, five sacks. sacks. Yeah, five, five sacks. sacks. Yeah, in the first, yeah. Um, you and I were both a little upset. I watched the replay of the game. Did you watch that? I was able to do that. And uh, I noticed a couple of running backs not picking up their blocks Oh. Uh, so there was a little bit of that issue. I'm not going to put all the blame on the offensive line. Mm -hmm. The good news about all of this, and, and I think we talked about this, was that in the second half of the football game, how many sacks were there? I, I think a half or none, yes. depending on on, right. on what stat you read. There the was stat like I read was it was none, and so, so none. So they adjusted. That's right. The good news. How about that? That's something we haven't seen in, in the last couple of years. And it was nice to see some adjustment. Pure adjustments d during halftime, coming out, cleaning it up. I believe Max Turek apologized to Cody Kessler during halftime, and said, "Did they that's, kiss?" That's enough. There might have been, uh, there might have been hand holding, some champagne, <laughs> and some rosé. There was probably. I know that's not true because alcohol has been banned from the from the locker room. Okay, the, uh, as of two weeks ago. A bit of a of a scare. Uh, Stephen Mitchell hurt his hand, but I think he's coming back. He, he looked, uh, he looked like he has not missed a beat. Just yeah, like he there's, was great. there's, I'm your guy. Throw the ball at me, and I'll, I'll get. Throw it in my area, and I'll come down and get it. Uh, <laughs> they were all good. Uh, Darius Rogers acted like he was number one on on Saturday night. Old Mike Williams jersey, yep. which is good because I still have the number one jersey from when Mike Williams went there. Good. So now that makes my jersey relevant again. Good. No, Good. I didn't want to have to buy Good. another number. Um, I'm a little cheap, and I didn't want to have to buy another jersey because that, I like the number one, USC one, has a lot of, you know, you can read a lot into it, and I just didn't want to spend more money on it. So Darius Rogers catching balls left and right. I, I think Cody spread the, the ball around to... Uh, nine different receivers, ten different receivers, I'm maybe in the first right half. Now. One, Are two, you, okay, three, good. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, eleven receivers. Uh, eleven different guys. And one who of all those, caught them? Who all caught the balls? Yes, one of those is including Jalen Green, uh, quarterback, quarterback turned wide receiver who actually threw a ball as well. How about that, that call? Clay Helton for the first time calling the uh, man. Where it's it it almost makes you think. Okay, where the hell was this all last year? Yeah, with Clay Helton up. They were in, working it out calling the plays Excuse what me. a result what a fantastic result and uh, Sarkeesian has admitted this this week 
that it was great for him to be able to go around to see what's going on in the special teams, Good. what's going on in the defense, yeah, check in with that? everybody, manage the game more. This was on the Ripset blog and, you know, the, the usual, the Conquest Chronicles, sure. of course, okay. and cool. uh, Reina Troy, but that that he was able to go around, manage the game, have a little bit more fun with the different units, get everybody tightened up, and, you know, be a coach. Just, do, yeah. well, and in my opinion from last year, do it, what huh? he's paid for. That's right. Do what he's paid to do. That's what a head coach does. I don't care if he's drunk. He can be hammered. He can be hammered. He can be hammered in doing that. I don't care. Just let the man do, have it. <laughs> let him have let it. Him have Speaking it of that, Rick, what are we drinking tonight? This is uh, Scotty's birthday. Day. This is so my birthday this drink. This is a Manhattan, I believe. This is my favorite drink. Uh, this is a Manhattan. What's in this one? This is uh, welcome to the uh, USC Outsider um, uh, alcoholic corner. What do you call it? Al- yeah. Alcoholics Anonymous. We haven't, we haven't Anonymous. officially named this segment. Um, we have a drink of the week is what it is. We'll just call it the USC Outsider drink of the week. This week it's a Manhattan, which Man-Hattan. is uh, just under two ounces of your finest bourbon in this in, in this count uh, case tonight it was uh, Maker's Mark, mm-hmm. and it's about a, it's a good bourbon a three quarters of a shot of uh, sweet not vermouth. Happy. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's, it's not. And then you uh, do some dash of bitters, and then, and a lot of people like to put a cherry in there. But tonight, I did not because you know, I forgot the cherries. We don't need any fruit. Yeah, we don't need any fruit salad tonight. This is a man's drink and a woman's drink and a and anybody who loves whiskey and doesn't love whiskey this is their drink tonight's drink is sponsored by adore jackson no that's not that's not true he's not even old enough to drink and he's a he's a player take that back he's a student athlete mm-hmm. and that's the reason we are not affiliated with the university of southern <laughs> in California, any way in shape, any or, way, form, shape or form officially <laughs> so we there was a brief scare speaking i know that was a shitty segue but it, a dory came down a little bit hurt. Might be a hit point or might be something. Might be X Y Z. I heard uh, abdominal strain. I heard abdominal strain as well. Uh, so we had to go and ask our our intrepid reporter. Did you talk to Gumble? Gumble Brown. All right. Our intrepid reporter, and because I wanted to know the inside scoop, I wanted to say and be honest with him and say, okay, Mr. Brown, what what's the real story? Is is a dory going to play? Are the coaches reconsidering? Taking him off of special teams now, would they put a freak like a Dory Jackson <laughs> in the game against the Idaho Vandals? Sure. Really would badass name, actually. Yeah, uh, it's a good name. Wow, great name. And would they put him in there if he were hurt or if he were not hurt? What And would they reconsider based on what happened last week with yeah, his, would you rest his him? injury? Just give him a, give him a break. Apparently, uh, a Dory is fine. Okay. And all systems go. He's like full go. You'll look. You'll see him on special teams. You'll see him on offense. You might he's see him green on green light go. One hundred percent. Yeah, he's unleashed the beast. Okay. Is, as I believe, uh, Mr. Brown said. Um, Gumble Brown said. I might uh, unleash the beast. I might uh, cut cut his reps in half. Maybe, maybe let somebody else. Christian Tober. I saw there back uh, uh, getting kicks last week. So that was fun seeing the uh, the new. The, the uh, new... Uh, Arguably, he did not... Uh, you Scully don't need a kid. man like Adoree Jackson back returning. Well, picks. yeah. But at a, with Adoree, there's the excitement. He could break one at any time break. and go. He could break one. You could break one at any time. I did break one. No, I didn't. I never broke one. But I did return punts and kickoffs, didn't I? At Arcadia High Football. Uh, Foothills Junior What was the Foothills, Foothills sorry yeah. What was the What was the You guys is, Wait That we was were, not We, we no. were the Highlanders Ninth grade freshman football <laughs> Is what that was After the movie The Highlanders After yes. the movie That was your high school team? I actually had my head cut off <laughs> And I came back to life It's very talented <laughs> It's just so a, a So we beat the Red Wolves <laughs> 55 to 6 <laughs> On Saturday night Now that, a little Man, I, and I could barely see by the end of the game. What? It, it's an eight. I know that we're contractually obligated to, to be on. Or I'm sorry, I say we. The team is contractually obligated to be on the Pacific or the Pac-12 network. Sure. Uh, twice a year, I think. That's right. And a minimum man, of twice a year. 8 p.m. kickoff. That's how far it's gone. Yeah, like that was, that's, that was that's brutal. That's the best everybody could do. That was brutal. That was a long day. Yeah. Next week's not much better. It's 5 p.m., which on... Uh, some of the promos I've seen from Pac-12, they call that prime time. That's 8 uh, o'clock nobody, for the rest of the 
college football watching and world. Nobody east of Arizona is going to care exactly. or watch. Exactly. It's bad. They'll have other things to do. There are Saturday a lot of night. shit games this weekend, too, and, and ours included. But Oh, it's, yeah, it's, name one. I will name one for name you. Name one shitty game. Uh, UCLA uh, at UNLV. The University, Nevada, Las Vegas. I believe UNLV uh, got rid of their coach and is breaking in a coach who is coming straight from high school to coach college <laughs> this year. I'm, uh, is that real? This is if if we have anyone I who can Google that. I can't tell with you anymore. No, this is actually true. Okay, good. So they've got a mm. they've got a really they had a really successful coach, I believe, in in uh, in high school football. Okay, in, that's a in different Las world, Vegas. though. And they made him the the coach of. Uh, of the running rebels and so yeah. now and now ucla are the rebels coming here or are they going no, to vegas ucla is going there they're going to vegas oh, that's a great vegas weekend they'll probably get a couple players in trouble this weekend oh, uh, playing it what we are playing uh, when are we oh when are we David going to vegas wants to know when David we're going, to, know to, know vegas. When we're going to vegas notre dame now that uh uh irish tom i have some bad news for him uh, things have happened, and I am no yeah, longer going to be attending the uh, the Notre Dame USC game. You could have texted this year. him first. He shouldn't have had to hear it live. No, like this. he should have to hear it live. I'm going to look him in the eye and just tell him that I'm not going to make it this year. Um, sorry about that, Irish Tom. I was looking forward to seeing I'm you. I'm still on the fence. <laughs> I still want to see what happens. Um, I may uh, I may do it last minute and just say, okay, I'm going to take that that weekend and go to South Bend okay, again. Okay, we however, should, we should do that. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just go to Chicago, party with Irish Tom, and not go anywhere near because I know when we when Pitts and I go to the games, yeah, we it's lose. bad news. It's bad news every time we go to the away games. And the thing was, last time we should have. That was the <laughs> last game that Trey Madden played in. I think it was against the Irish, and he, mm. he regardless. Different my season. Fault, my fault last year Different losing life. to the uh, Boston College Screaming Eagles. That was you my were, fault. You were at that I was game. at that one. So that's my fault. I we don't go to games anymore. I can't believe that. Maybe not on the road. Uh, another shit game next week. Go ahead. How about this? Jacksonville State visiting Auburn. That's a shit game. That Yeah, that's a... Uh, you're right about that. It's garbage. So what do you think about... Uh, Michigan State and and the Ducks of Oregon, well, Scott Pitts. Interesting. I wanted to do Pitsy's picks this week, but there's only really three or four games that I want to talk but about. But you shit the bed and left it in the car or something. Yeah, I left you it. You left it in your birthday uh, cake. Last week, and I also shit the bed last week and, and, and pushed the power plug and, <laughs> and things went down. And uh, so my picks <laughs> didn't get, get uh, put up. But I missed two picks last week only. Oh. Which is terrible for the first man. week of the season. Um but this week, there's really only a few games I want to talk about. We'll talk about ours, of course. So you're not going to talk um, to me about Michigan State and Oregon? You're just going to ignore I want to the question I asked? Yes, I was getting there. Number seven, Oregon, goes to number five, Michigan State. Good, let them go to Lansing. Um, let the Ducks travel. My pick was Michigan State. And, oh. and the reason that I came up with that was only the fact, well, there was two things. Michigan State plays good defense. And uh, number two, it's at home for Michigan State. Now, um, being my birthday, you get a, the, the influx of birthday wishes on, on Facebook and whatnot. Excuse me. And I got one from Ducky Jeff today. Uh, Ducky Jeff is a longtime friend a of the program. A friend of the show. Yep. <laughs> Ducky Jeff is a friend of the and, show. And uh, was curious about his take on the, on the game. And, and Ducky Jeff said that the Ducks lose by 10. Oh, my goodness. Yep. By 10? Yeah, because he said the secondary, these are his words, secondary is shit for Oregon. and uh, Yeah, but that offense is pretty high. The high offense high. is pretty good. And I don't good. know if, 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 if last State's week, offense is that Last prolific. week they did not play a powerhouse, but they uh, gave up a lot of points. They did. They did. That was also the first so, game. Was that, that was at Outson? Yeah, it was, I believe. Oh. I, I'll have to double check my notes, but I left <laughs> them at home. Uh, anyway, uh, that's Ducky Jeff's prediction. Okay. He and I were kind of on the same page with that. Yeah, you think you think the Spartans are going to win? I think they 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 do. I think it's a it's going to be a barn burner and a tight one. But uh, I think the Spartans. Good. Or Spartans pull it up. I I I would prefer that the Pac-12 won. Actually, yeah, I would sure. I would prefer that that Oregon yeah. uh, pulled it out and, yeah. and and took care of business. The and they could. I could be dead wrong on that one. Like I, I just want them to do something because they're they took care of Florida State really well, and they had one job after that. 
to take care of Ohio State. Well, they did. They had one job. Yeah, Ohio State kind of looks like a machine right now. They look really good. Yeah, they do. Um, one of the other games I wanted to talk about. Oh, oh Ohio Big. State number one plays Hawaii at home this weekend. Great, uh, great ex, matchup. Ex Trojan um, Max Wittick leading uh, the Hawaii team. The Rainbow Warriors. Yes, I still call them the Rainbow Warriors, even though they go by the Warriors now. Um, Ohio State should roll in that game. Uh-oh. At home. Uh, the other game I want to talk about is number 19, Oklahoma, visiting number 23, Tennessee. That's This is a change. Oklahoma the, and... On the road. Everybody is, yeah. is now going to start... Thank, thankfully, the college playoff is giving us better games That's earlier right. in the season. I agree. And earlier in the season. And this is one of those games. I, Maybe. I, <laughs> I, pick, I pick Tennessee in this game. The Vols are going to get up, and they're going to they're going to beat that Oklahoma team. I didn't pay attention to I. Stoops is just sort of a, a brand, and I exactly him I, I think at it's, Oklahoma it's, is just sort of I just it, in, I think it's stale him winning and everything. It's stagnant. No. Why hasn't he gone to the pros? Oh, I yeah, because why? it's stale and stagnant. He's not doing anything. He's stuck around too long, and uh, he, he's he's missed it. Arkansas State, who uh, USC played last week, is. At home against number 21, Missouri, the Tigers. They're an SEC team now. That's right. I fully expect the Missouri Tigers to take care of business and uh, maybe not put up, what, 56, 55, like SC did. But I I expect them to to win. You expect Missouri to win? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Oh, you've got the whole thing in front of you. Yeah, it's right here. I'm looking at it all. Who does? Uh, This is a curious game. LSU number fourteen okay. visits SEC team visiting number twenty five Mississippi State. Uh, I think the Tigers win that game. LSU in Starkville. Yeah, <laughs> Starkville. That's where Mississippi State I plays. Know. I've yeah. got I've got some relatives yeah. there. I and think LSU wins that game. They I, should. I well, obviously, I don't want them to because I <laughs> I have blood in, in, <laughs> in Starkville, Mississippi, and. Uh, Inbred blood. I don't. Just oh, kidding. I'm what? sure it's all from. Yeah, I, That's good luck. I, I have no comment. But the oh. part of that is uh, when when two SEC teams play each other. Yeah, I don't Sparks know. Fly. I was going to go some some kind of ESPN quantum physics jerks thing, off but, all over it, oh, and then uh, and yeah. yeah, and then no, I would prefer the Bulldogs. And either way, win. they come out on top because they still get the money. Les Miles is weird. And, yeah, I mean, I like weird. Weird is good. I appreciate a lot of weird in my life. <laughs> but he's bordering on the weird kind of weird. Yeah, we're weird. And LSU is weird. It's a weird school. They're well, just they're weird. Okay. And I, I want them to go. I don't I don't want them to win games. These guys are having like a conversation over here on Is the something board. wrong? No, I, I mean, think David's having a heart attack. His heart hurts. You're good. You're good. How many how much have minutes. we talked so far? Twenty two minutes. Oh, oh we gotta wrap this shit up. Um one more game I want to talk about. An an in state deal here. Boise State. Uh, well, it's not in-state. No. Because Boise State's from Idaho right. going to BYU. That's a shit game. Yeah, Boise but I, State I understand what... The fact is, I know they're two states, but when you said you kind of it's mish-mash in-state, mish-mash it's them, right? like you could... I would look at it, and then it would take me a minute to, th- to say, Hey, those are two different states, sir. There's borders in there. <laughs> yeah. Against BYU. <laughs> um, one interesting game. Uh, Notre Dame goes and visits Virginia who uh, UCLA thoroughly no, Notre Dame took care of business game. last week. Of course they will. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how Virginia responds. I'm surprised Notre Dame is bothering to actually go on the road Yeah, this Virginia's year. terrible, and Notre Dame never travels, and they, they're, they're traveling this time. Uh, Irish Tom will pound me for that one. No. Uh, that's about it. Everything Possibly else is kind of kind of garbage this week. Um you know, I think Georgia takes care of Vanderbilt, another SEC uh, uh, game there. Why did I think the Vandals were in the ACC? I think they're Sun Belt. I'm sorry. I'm we sorry. have two Sun Belts the in a row. The Commodores. Sorry, I, I was looking at. <laughs> I was looking at what I need to get to next. Everybody, I, I want to put this on the record too. Everybody gave shit to USC um, for putting Arkansas <coughs> State on the the pallet last week. That schedule was made about three or four years ago, and it was originally Texas A&M. Mm-hmm. And A&M backed out of that deal. They're the ones that left, and that's who was left. So USC got to play Arkansas State last week. The Aggies, who defeated Arizona State 
on last Saturday. Ouch. That oh. was a big loss. And if you if you hear on the audio or anything that, mm. that it, there's, like, air conditioning going on, it's because it's 119 degrees. It's because there's air conditioning on. There's, we actually have to have... <laughs> it's blowing here. We actually, it's, it's, it's too hot. Okay. It's um, too much hot. Bef- speaking of too much hot... Go ahead. Before we get back to football... Do talking we about have Idaho. A quick, uh, talking about Idaho and the upcoming game, do we want to have our friend David... Fellow Trojan on, yes, absolutely, and uh, he's just going to give a brief synopsis of uh, things USC this week. It, anything that has to do with Make sure USC, your pants are off. not necessarily football, but I'm telling you this, David, you have until I finish drinking this drink. <laughs> yeah, he's coming around. He's this coming drink. around. Because I need. He's I need not camera something. ready. He needs powder. What? I've got glasses on. I never wear my glasses on. You're Last wearing your glasses on. All right, so any anything on. USC aside from... Hi, guys. No, wait a minute. Now this, it, you missed the game. You did were you in know San that? Diego I, I was in... A, yes, I was. I was in San Diego That's watching Craig Robinson. I went to Craig Robinson's That's show. Fun. After watching the Dodger game, the first time I've ever seen a Dodger game, not at Dodger Stadium. Really? Yeah. I, I'd never seen them play an away game. You're a dick. It was my first time at Petco, too. That's fun. Did you Is take, that a nice, uh, nice ballpark? I've heard it's a really it's, nice ballpark. It's kind of interesting because uh, Los Angeles... Because, uh, you know, Chavez Ravine is known as being like a historical and it's wonderful and great and, and then you see some of the and there for g- being giants fans shush it and then uh you go to some of the new ballparks and you're like wow these are yeah. these are they really the, fancy the amenities really nice. this yeah. is where we need to be yes. like where the giants yes. play by the way who do yeah. we play i love i listen to the podcast i f- i follow you guys and Thank you guys you. should all do this uh, everybody you. at home uh, I see the frog. Uh, hashtag USC Outsider. Yes. Uh, follow at USC Outsider on Twitter. Uh, at Rick Barbera. You're just what? what Rick right? Under. Yeah, it's really, really original. But yeah, and at, at Scotty Images. Scotty Images. He'll take pi- uh, pictures of your of your wedding and your crotch. Um, <laughs> and uh, but I also wh- who we play this what? week? Who do we play this Idaho. week? Idaho. Idaho. The Idaho Vandals. So, Idaho. So and what time is the game? Five o'clock. Five. Are we yeah, watching Pacific. it? Are you Five. Watching Five. Watching Five. 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 We need some extra footage. We need it's footage. on the Pac-12 network. Do you want to come over and... Uh, <sighs> you can Time come over Warner. and... Uh, Time Warner. Time Warner. Ugh. We'll figure it you out. Guys we'll figure it. Oh, you guys watch it. You have Time I Warner. Have, I have Time Warner. No, of course not. I have DirecTV. Then you're not seeing the game Everybody because DirecTV is a anybody piece of shit. DirecTV. Okay, should I, give you, should I give you a little entertainment? Yes. Okay. I'm going to segue into this by saying uh, USC... The student grad, uh, he went there at any oh, rate, man, has man, done man. a new 30 for 30 for Pete Carroll in yes. the Pete Carroll era. It's a 30 for 30 on ESPN. It's coming out October 17th regarding uh, the Pete Carroll era from yeah. the nine years good where we, we were dominated everything. Is that everywhere. out? Did it come out? It's coming out. It's October. coming out. Open your ears. Okay, Wh- good, good. October 17th. <laughs> Why we were good, the good... The bad, the weird, the ugly, everything is going to be in this documentary. And 30 for 30s are great. I watch them on Netflix. Yeah. That's one of my, those, like, sure. instead of Have binge guys- watching Narcos or whatever comedy is on, although I'll get to those two. That one on Miami in the 90s was bananas. I watch. Do you see the one on the high five? The little one on the high five? Just let me get to it. Go. Sorry, Rick. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rick. Stealing them. This Rick. guy, this USC guy, has done the 30 for 30. I can't, can't wait. To see, to actually, it's just going to be like me watching r- replays of the games yep. and remembering where I was when Coach Carroll was there, and I I want him back so bad. I know. Go you ahead, think, David. You what do you want to talk about? Can we? He's can not we, ever coming we can't, back. We can't bring no, him back. We can't, and we can't go back to college. Oh, we did. Yeah. We what? Nikes. We didn't do anything that time. The last thing that we were talking about was the fact that there's a USC guy who's who's done this 30 for 30 on Coach Carroll in the years. I, you were over at my place during that time. What USC guy does the 30 for 30s? Uh, no, it's not a. It's it's a different director all the time. This just oh, happens to be a gentleman be a who guy. I think okay, I believe is is actually in a, a tenured either adjunct professor or teaching at USC right now. And he directed this documentary. So, I love that. Uh, anyway, it's around October 17th, obviously. And I right, do your thing. What okay, else wait, is going wait, on for USC? You, you, you sparked a new idea because you guys <laughs> all have to watch this. And I want to make sure we post this on icthefrog.com. Uh, there is a great, it's like a little mini 30 for 30. It's like three minutes or two minutes or whatever. But it's about the history of the high five. Do you know that the Dodgers invented the high five? Do you know that, Pitts? So it's a it's it's awesome. It's a great story, but uh, I, I I don't want to screw it up. But it happened in the seventies, and the 
actual high five that everybody does now was invented by the Dodgers. And uh, we'll post that 30 for 30 on uh, ICTheFrog.com and along with the USC Outsider because it's pretty awesome. Do you remember the players involved in the 70s? Well, I don't remember his name, but... Uh, was it your father's friend? It, no, it was Dusty... My father's friend? Yeah, was it your dad's friend? N no, no, I don't think so. My dad did go to the 81 World Series and he saw Dusty Baker in the locker room and he said, it was amazing. <laughs> Give me that towel, stupid. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it was 81 or 80. 80 I, I should shut up now. Um, wait, okay, going into what entertainment else? news. Okay, what I'm, what I'm here to do uh -oh, is give thanks, a little thanks. things outside of football. Uh, uh, we love the football, <laughs> but here's, here's a little um, Better alumni Better be USC-related. It is, it is. I will hit you in the face with a helmet. Are you ready? Minority Report. The TV show that is coming out, Minority Report, okay. is starring Stark Sands. Do you guys know who Stark Sands is? Yeah. You, do you really? You don't. You have no idea, do you? Right? Okay, ready. Here's how it comes together. And A, you should have David Rothblum on as... <laughs> Rothblum oh. should be your guest. Yes. Rothblum's old roommate back in the day, Stark Sands. He also originated... That he name. originated one of the roles on, uh, on Broadway for American Idiot. He's nice. been in uh, such movies as uh, Inside Lewin Davis. He was in... Who was uh, he in that? Gen he was like the... Um, remember when they were in the recording studio and he was like, I'm the... I'm the old partner, and I'm. It wasn't Justin Timberlake, but he. No, no, no. Sorry, he was the military guy, the military boyfriend. Remember oh yeah, scene? the military boyfriend. Wow. He's in a movie called. Uh, sorry, the HBO series Generation Kill. He's just been popping up from time to time and stuff nice. that we've all seen. I've always kept an eye on him because he's Rothblum's old what roommate. What about the Coens taking USC people like Sari Wagner? Sari Wagner and, uh, and Sarah Wagner, just by the way. Good segue. She has been cast in the new Woody Allen movie. Yeah, hey, Sari uh, Girl Wagner. Guy who raped is is uh, no, no. Stop there. No, stop no? there. Stop <laughs> there. Well, that's that's you know. Court, he I makes don't a know. good movie though, doesn't it? It does. It does. Uh, hashtag Woody Allen. It does. Um, it does make a good movie. It does. So make a good Stark movie. Sands and is in my. In the he's basket. the lead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shit. Fuck. Oh really? Oh. Who did you hate? In, uh, as a USC football player when you were when you were at school was it Rob Johnson for throwing the interception uh -huh. at UCLA Rick, we were, were at that game when you were sophomore I was a junior Rick and I actually work? I said some of the most horrific things I've ever said out loud at that game yeah I I, I wanted a <laughs> truck to, to, to plow through the Coliseum and the take only, him out only good thing about that game was that we got to go home well I got to go home I had been drinking I think since the night before <laughs> And I got to go home from that game to watch that uh, Notre Dame was was cha was playing Boston College for the champion. Well, something yeah. I don't know. They were playing. It was the game that kept Notre was it Dame. Flutie? No, 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 no. It was, that was it like was, It was the UCLA. <laughs> it was the UCLA interception uh, yeah. in the touchdown. It was what ninety four, yeah, ninety five, ninety six, ninety five. I think, I think no. it was ninety three. Really? Oh my god! That because hurt. the we had just done the pop project. <laughs> we got to so put that, that on I See the Frog. Are, we, are you ready to put those there out? There it is. Bring it back. <laughs> All right, so go ahead. We did post, what else by the did way, you want to... Today we did post Keller and Sullivan on on uh, uh, on the uh, on I See the Frog.com. So we, we're, we're putting some gems. Everyone go to I See the Frog.com. But I, my Our big sponsors. thing was uh, I was going to push uh, Stark Sands, who is uh, the lead on Minority Report that starts, I believe, on Fox on September 21st. Everybody just, you know, I hope the show's good. If it's not... Sorry, move on. But but Stark Sands yeah. is is rad and awesome, awesome. and uh, we're happy for him, and we hope he continues to kick out. Fight on, Stark. Fight yeah. on. Okay. Who was the dude? By the way, who's who's? And I love him. I think his name's Ryan. Peter's old roommate that's directing the Star Wars movie. Did we we tried to talk about this last week? But we, Just we may have his, been caught up, cut name. off. His name is Ryan Johnson. All right, thank R I A N. He is directing episode yeah. eight. The He's badass. writing and directing episode eight Incredible. of Star Wars. And uh, is Kazdan helping him? A stud. I don't know how that's all working. Uh, Ryan is, he's in London right now, and he is I, I want to be Boba ass. Fett's slave goose. <laughs> <laughs> Just put slave me. Slave goose? Yeah, and I don't want, I don't want yeah. it to be CG. There's a lot of uh, Just exciting. Me. Just me as a messed up intergalactic goose <laughs> that services like, Boba Fett. Like Bosch? Remember that character? Yeah, Bosch. Bosch. I want to be part Bosch. I want to be part IG-88. I was going to say IG-88. Yeah. How about Dengar? I want to be Dengar. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've yep. been Beto. <laughs> BB-8? Be... BB-8? A little Star Wars no, that's segue. Too new. That's, that's too, too new. That's too new. I want to go vintage. Yes, it is true. Everyone, for, for, for the sake... Maybe blue-caped Bosk. Yeah. For the sake Good. of uh, USC fight there's on... There's no way you had a blue-caped Bosk. Uh, Ryan Johnson... No, because it would be worth thousands. Uh, alumni Sorry. Ryan Johnson is uh, is on top of for episode the 8. the missile actually fired. <laughs> and it choked, that it it choked people the way choked the battle... Choked too many kids. Yeah. Choke yeah. you out. I'll choke you out. This is going to get... Awesome. No, we should, no, it can't. Okay, We're going to, do you want to talk about Idaho? Do you want to stay? No. I'll, well, you go ahead and talk as long as the camera David doesn't know fine. about Idaho. He doesn't even know where that state I've is. I've been to Idaho. Utaho. I've been to Idaho. I went to a wedding there once, uh, and I, it was on the set of The Horse Whisperer. <laughs> That's not true. That's totally true. Really? In the barn of The Horse Whisperer. I, I, that was. I think that was Idaho. Right? Okay. I've never seen that film. It's a good. F- it's a Robert Redford film. It's yeah, good. Of course it is. Yeah. Um, the Idaho Vandals are having trouble because they're in a state that's kind of they're overshadowed. They're overshadowed by Boise State that plays yes. on Smurf. Oh, turf. Boise. Boise State. <laughs> you so, didn't. <laughs> what a dick. They are. They are overshadowed by this this sort of Big Brother image. They have not been able to put it together in the last few years. In fact, they mostly play in the I uh, big. The Big Sky, they're, all their, their sports are in the Big Sky Conference. Is it Big Sky or is it Sunbelt? Right are you again? kidding? <clears throat> hey, everybody. So, uh, a couple of people you need to watch for Idaho. Uh, quarterback Matt Linehan, as well as the his main receiver, his go-to guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Boy. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. His main receiver. Tell the me last more. name is Epps. That is the receiver that he's going to be looking for. Omar so, I don't believe it's Omar. Desmond, how about Desmond Epps? Desmond Epps, okay. Now we do have the Hawkins brothers playing because the, we obviously know Chris Hawkins on uh, Ned and Barris on defense for SC. His brother <laughs> is playing for Idaho, so there's actually are you kidding? And those guys, oh, are, interesting, very cool. That is a talented group of folks right there. Yeah, those are two talented brothers. Hawkins had a nice game last week. Too. Uh, yeah, and his, we hope his brother does too. Um, but ultimately, you know, I I don't know why they're both not playing for USC. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe uh, SC didn't offer him. So let's that's how go. that works, Rick. Good. <coughs> oh yeah, it does work. Hey, before oh, we lose so power again, uh, should we talk about next week? What's happening next week? We play Stanford. Um, and Do we? And we yeah. Stanford that why, early? Why are we going that far ahead? Yeah, we're still. We got to talk about Idaho talk defense. About Idaho. Man. No, go we keep just going. Keep going. I'm sorry. Offense. I'm sorry. Jesus, now, I got a nervous. Lot, Count your eggs before they're uh, hatched. There's there. a lot of seniors on the Idaho defense. Kickoff, by the way, did I say is it five five p.m. five p.m. Pacific time? The only time that matters on the Pac-12 network, which blows, and, and Directv blows. I, I'm nope. okay with just, Directv. Me yeah, too. It's Time Warner that far- so sucks the farts. <laughs> sucks all the farts. <laughs> they're oh, fart guys. suckers. They they breathe. <gasps> By the way, them in that's like that. the internet provider that we are on right now for internet, exactly. and that might be what happened. They can't that do anything is. right. Why don't you get like AT and T? No, well, they own Directv, Rick, and then yeah. you'd, then you'd so, be bashing they them. They just merged, and there's a yeah. whole bunch of so shit that's you. going on with it. I, yeah. <laughs> that's harsh. <laughs> Why? We're still alive, Why right, so Alex? Mad at me, birthday boy. You, you've been mad at me all night, and I love you. I love you more than. How about Alex Reeves over there kicking ass? Yeah, he's bringing uh, trying, us back. trying to trying to Keeping work through life. all this mm-hmm. shit <laughs> with part five. <laughs> no, part four. We're in part four. Part four. We're literally right, so, we're in Lethal Weapon 4 right now, all which right, was the so best the, one. It was. And I think the reason why we're not going too far into Idaho is because they they, they probably will will not win this Saturday. Uh, they do have a lot of seniors on defense. The thing about Idaho is they're competing with the the with Boise State. Th- most likely, if they drop enough games this year, they'll be dropped back into a conference that's not Division One. Okay. Every is team that, is every that a real sport, possibility? Yeah, every sport at Idaho uh, is, I believe, the Big Sky Conference, yeah. except football, which is Sun Belt. Due to, I think they even had some sanctions because of their their they performed poorly academically. I mean, it's just not Idaho is just not lined so up well. It's threatening. In the last they few might years. they might go down to FCS. Coach Petrino, who's I believe the brother of Bobby Petrino at yep. Louisville, this That's Coach right. Petrino, he's got a chance to bring him back. He's bringing in junior college players. He's got a, a veteran, uh, you know, defense. Maybe he can bring him back up so they can compete at that level. Uh, and. M- I, I don't know. I'm trying to spin this positively. I I, I think we're probably going to go. We're probably going to score 250 points on them. That's, on what us. was that our sounds uh, realistic and do wonderful? You, do you still have that sheet from last week? Where's our predictions from last week? You did you give that to me? Yeah. Yep. 
I don't think, I think it. it's over there somewhere. It might Great. be over there. You um, want me to get it? So Rick, this week, what are you we risk cutting the power. Yeah. I am going to say 72 to 6 Ooh, USC. 72? You think they're going to put up 72? Uh, Please I write it down and you keep 72? it because obviously we can't ha- yeah, I'm access it from this. last take, week. Take so. a picture of that and send it to me. And we Rick, have to write a synopsis. For, 72 yeah. to 6. That's a, that's a big score. David, what do you uh, think is going to happen next week? One dollar, Bob. One one dollar. Uh, I think. Wait, what did you? I, I think it's going uh, uh, to be forty-two. Forty-two. Forty-two to ten. Forty-two to ten. I like that score. Uh, I turned forty-two today. That's why. Uh, and I turned um, ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your brain did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like how much you laughed at that. Football. <laughs> Stick to football, it's, boys. Uh, football. I'm going 47, which is a weird number for football. Uh, 47 to... Uh, I'm going to give them 13. 47 to G. 47 David, G. Because we have a, a kicker uh, who's going to be blue-shirted at, at USC, I want you to, since we didn't get to it last week, <laughs> Wait, welcome this Australian guy... Welcome this Australian player to USC. Do you want to play you, him? I'll, What's his name? What's I'll his name t- again? I don't remember. It's Chris. It's Aussie. Awesome. I want you to Aussie say Chris. Chris. Yeah. Aussie Chris, Chris is here. Welcome him. I'm welcome going to him. kick the ball. His name is Chris Landy. Say welcome. Fight on. Fight, Fight on. on, Chris. Fight on, Chris. <laughs> Wait, am I am I playing you're, Chris? No, He's you're Australian. Being, you're being like another Australian. Oh, who's like a uh, fellow. You're a hello. Welcome, Chris, and fight on. Welcome, Chris. Welcome, Chris. Fight on. I hope you uh, will you win the game and then you rent, rent Crocodile Dundee to you. <laughs> <laughs> Pitts, what's your score? What's your final of the game this week? Forty-seven thirteen. Oh, I ain't gonna. Oh, I ain't gonna do. <laughs> do you want to do? It just got cockney. Oh, I ain't, oh, <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna cut that pig in the belly, Mister Brisbane. What? Do you want to? Sure, that's no. That's what they say there. Uh, do you want to? <laughs> That's a want, well-known Australian. <laughs> it, it is. Oh, it is. It's right before the. Boy, when I lose, I get, I get that. cut in the belly like a pig. Right before they puzzle up the Gibbs bids, uh, they, <laughs> they say that. Is. So, what do you want to? What do you want to predict oh, in to shit. Chris welcoming him to the team, uh, Mister? Welcome, Chris. Ew, welcome, Chris, to the team. <laughs> Forward on. That is a oh. shitty accent. That's a oh, shitty accent. No, that's because. that's uh, that's the USC theater school uh, skipping that year, not letting my class take. <laughs> Take accents. Okay. I blame thank that. Thank you, David. I, I blame that Deborah. Uh, okay, thank bye. Thank you. Thank you. This has and, been uh, fun. And thank you guys for watching <laughs> Happy Birthday Pits. Thank you. And uh, um, go Trojans. Expect more of the same this weekend. Yeah. We're going to beat the Trojans Idaho roll. Vandals. Trojans roll. Fight on. Fight on. Fight on. Fight on.